Okay, Ramon, uh, what sort of effect has the delay of the second flight had on uh, preparations for the game? Well, I mean, it's only affected the, uh, the organisation of the day, you know, the structure of the day. We had to push back uh, a training session. We've got, we had a training session uh, planned for uh, the late morning, but we've had to push it back and make sure that these guys that have spent so many hours on the way, uh, they get a bit of rest before they hit the, uh, the ground. So, and obviously we're going to have to keep an eye on, on, on these, uh, these players that have been there. Have been, uh, they've taken uh, quite a few more hours than planned and see what they look like. And then if we have to readjust something uh, as we are training, uh, we'll all do it. You know, we just need to make sure that uh, everyone stays safe uh, today. Last night Hiroshima defeated uh, Gamba Osaka 3-2 in the first leg of the J-League Championship final. What were your observations of that match? Look, I, I thought it was a typical final. You know, both teams were very respectful of each other. Uh, both teams have good players. Uh, maybe Gamba looked like they they were looking to get hold of the ball a little bit more than uh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima were happier uh, setting a bit deeper than Gamba and counter attacking. And at the end of the day, that's the way they normally set up. Uh, I saw a very competitive game. That obviously after that uh, red card, uh, it turned around and it became. Uh, more, you know, more Hiroshima than rather than what it looked like at the, in the first 60 or 70 minutes. Uh, again, there's another game still to be played, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen. It looks like it might be Hiroshima, but uh, whatever. You know, I mean, uh, I thought it was again, you know, it was a good opportunity to see both teams competing in a big game, and again, we've got our thoughts about that, and we'll see. Do you have a preference for either one of them? No, I mean. We, we will have to play one of those two, that's it, we can't choose. So we've got to be happy with what we get and just make sure that we prepare We prepare well. It's going to be a very tough game, once again, feet on the ground and acknowledge that. Just have the uh, probably the desire to the well. That's what we, only, we, can, we can only expect of ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give us uh, the latest news on the rehabilitation of Angel Belanga and Mario Bielan? Yeah, well, Angel, it's going to be a matter of time and see how he goes. Um, he's got a small injury, but it's only 10 or 11 days after it happened. So we're going to have to wait and see. It'll be a late call probably for us. And Mario's looking good. Uh, he played uh, you know, a pretty decent game on, on the weekend. I think he went over the first half quite well. He got a little a little knock and then in the second half he, he was a bit sore. But I think, I think he's going to be... It's going to be no problems in terms of the the ankle. Hopefully, nothing else happens. What are the objectives for the team uh, in the Yokohama FC friendly match scheduled for tomorrow? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's been in the past. You know, probably have a have a good practice game against the Japanese team. Japanese teams play the game in a different way than the games that we uh, used to play in New Zealand and even Oceania. So just get a get a feeling. Every every player, hopefully every player will, will have uh, some game time and will feel what it means to compete against these guys in these weather conditions, and and you know that that's probably the, what we're looking at, you know. And again, it's uh, it's good to get some game time, and there'll be players that haven't played that, as much, unfortunately, and they can get some game time as well. So all good. Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's just basically that, you know, understand what it means uh, when it comes down to playing Japanese teams and. Hopefully, no, nothing else, you know. And then, from uh, obviously from the fifth, uh, we get into the bubble. Where we'll start thinking about the cha J League champions and, and prepare for that game. Uh, Japanese media have shown a lot more interest in this friendly match than they have in uh, previous years. Uh, mm -hmm. What sort of impression does that give you of, of the club's status? Yes, I suppose that our reputation is growing, you know. And, and obviously, after what we did last year. Uh, People have a little bit more interest in us, and it's all good. It's great, you know. It's great that a very small club uh, like us uh, can reach uh, the uh, attention of so many big press, uh, you know, media media from from elsewhere. You know, I mean, we, we've had Al Jazeera in the past. We've had uh, uh, teams, uh, Japanese uh, national TV following us all over the place. So it's great to have that opportunity, and and it means that we're doing things well, you know. The result against Yokohama, therefore, is not not really the, the priority. No, not to me. I think the priority is the processes. Uh, Yokohama they, they play different than Hiroshima. Maybe a bit more similar to Gamba Osaka. That's not the uh, the big thing in there. Again, the big thing is uh, 
that we can play our game, our position game against a, a Japanese team with with their characters, uh, with the way they play the game. This is this is basically our only worry right now. You know, it's at the end of the day, it's a friendly game, and and we've set it up out there for that reason to make sure that every player and us as coaching staff understand whether we have to change something or not to change, modify something, or whether we can play a normal game. I think this, this team has grown over the last few years a lot and we're in a position where we can maybe look at ourselves a little bit more than what we used to at the past and, and hopefully we can implement our style of football uh, regardless of who we're playing against.